Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And I just thought I'd let you know that, yes, indeedy, the problems that caused all those weird clang issues from uh, Friday's episode are indeed still in the game. There was no hot fix, as I hoped there would be. I just loaded it up, and these pistons were rotating in midair and doing strange things as they were before. So you might be wondering, how did I fix it? It's very simple. You go, you go to online mode, either private, friends, or public. Any one of those works great. But if you leave it in offline mode, weird physics things happen. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. But here we are. And there it is. All right. So... I am going to start removing things. We... oh. Maybe that wasn't the right thing to start with. Oh, also, as was suggested by several people, and thank you very much for stating the obvious that I obviously couldn't come up with, just put a cargo container up here, and then I can access things like hydrogen tanks and whatnot. I can even make make it a basics container. And that'll solve all of my problems. Come on, Igor. Don't tell me Igor's broken. Huh? Okay. Displays and metal grids. Uh, factories have metal grids and displays. Also, the um, factories are broken. That's great. Cool. Welcome to Space Engineers, everybody. All right, I'm going to go mainly grab some stuff. At least Tim works. Huh. Oh, that one's interesting. Oh, I was on the inside. <laughs> okay. Forgot these are all extended. So we were running a little bit on the low side when it came to uh, uranium, so I thought I'd bring the... Oh, wait a minute. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to just bring the, the lifter. I need to actually bring the uranium that's in the lifter. I mean, it's got some gold in your... Oh, it's got a lot of gold in uranium, but there's even more in the actual thingy over there, the barge. So I figure... I should probably at least bring back everything I've got. Well over a million uranium. I can handle that. That'll work. And that should suck all the stuff out of this container. And it did. Excellent. And these guys should be all processing uranium now. And they are. Excellent. There we go. All six of them are processing uranium. Seven of them? Oh, the ones on the MBT. That's fine. And then some doing silver. Because we also needed silver. And that's it. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is on this tower here, I'm going to find the... I'm going to find the merge block, which is one of these. Oh, there it is. This one. So we're going to remove the merge block there. We're going to leave the connector. And then we actually... Should we put the projector... Probably just want the projector right on the bottom, honestly. We'll put it... Well, yeah, let's put it right here. I don't see any reason not to put it right on the bottom like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go find ourselves a projector. I feel like it's supposed to be like that. I mean, we'll, we'll have to rotate it no matter what we do, so I'm just gonna... We'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Oh. Okay. 
There we go. We can use this to access the control panel and put in the projection or put in the actual, you know, settings and whatnot after after we put it, yeah, it's going to be a little weird. So I'm going to take a blueprint of this guy. Projector Tower 1. That works. Okay. Let's go get that set up. It's going to be at this green level. Alright. Blueprint. Projector Tower 1. And of course it's sticking off to the side like that. That's great. So let's get that all rotated and in the right position. Work. Okay then. Looks right to me. Mm, no. So now we need a way to have the elevator actually weld that as it's going up. Okay, we have power on board, we have a battery, right? And that battery, hopefully, is set to not recharge. Good. Normal mode. And it looks like our things are running. And... Yeah. Okay. Let's give this a, chance, a try. Merge block elevator off. Take control. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. Connector. Off. Why are you acting funny? Smacking on things. Breaking things. Alright, let's do this. Take control. And since I've got it here anyway, let's put the connector switch lock, connector on off. Kind of missed on that, but it's okay. So we'll go ahead and set this back down. Oh. Lock it in. And let's fix this up. Because clearly things are not happening the way I want them to. Okay, we're going to remove this merge block. Because we don't actually want to use that again in theory. Even though technically it shouldn't be needed. No, I'm not going to have the parts for that. piece. I wish I had Igor back. Lots of shaking around. Okay. That was a lot more stable before, wasn't it? I really hope the physics updates didn't break my physics. Okay, let's turn off Okay. Okay. We're moving a little more smoothly now. And we stopped moving smoothly. It's like it goes great for a second, and then it kind of stops going great. You all saw it before. It moved much more smoothly before. Yeesh. Connect. Oh, it's completely upside down. Great. Okay. By the way, UI background opacity. Opacity. Was a really handy thing for uh, for being able to see what you're doing with a blueprint.
Okay, here we go. Beautiful. So let's actually, I'm going to, uh, let's finish off this next little section by hand. Do we want to go over top as we go up? I think we want to go over top as we go up. I can't remember how big welders are now. That works. Okay, so this is going to go all the way through this. And I think those three should get everything, but if they don't... You know, for the best speed, we want as many as we can. So I'm going to do it this way. We're going to rotate that. Make sure that I'm looking at this right. And then we should be able to connect on the sides like that. And then do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll do conveyor junctions all the way across for the best, uh, you know, so they all connect to each other. You know what I mean. Okay. Now we just got to weld all this up because we don't have any. Actually, if I get one of these working, they'll all weld each other up except for the conveyor junctions. So I need three conveyor junctions conveyor tube and computer motor and small large steel tube so if I just throw all these parts in here in theory they will all weld themselves up it's the fun thing about multiple welders okay So now we take over and we go forward. And if we go slow enough, it should. Come on. Come on. Man, just does not want to go. Right. Does not have the parts. Okay, so we need to make sure that there's plenty of stuff for the projector, all of the connectors and conveyors, and of course lots and lots of steel plates. Eventually we'll do all the math on it and we'll just make sure that at every, every time it connects it gets all that stuff that it needs. But for now, a little bit of manual is what's going to be needed. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't know. Let's just do a full inventory for now of connector stuff. Yeah, okay. Good grief. So now let's see if how fast we can go up and have this thing work. Because of the tipping. Okay, so I might have to do something with like one in the middle and then one around the outside or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry about getting all of those pieces for now as we're doing our testing.
Also, I just noticed that it says that we have seven minutes remaining on the battery. So, I kind of want to get up to the next connector and connect in sooner than that. Why are the wheels going all over the place? Okay, there's the connector. I think we might just, I think we might have welders on the top and all the way around, just to make sure. Oh, come on now. It's not even getting that. Is it out of steel again? Darn it. Yeah. And I need to make sure not to go too many blocks or else I won't be able to go back down. So up one more. And then we'll connect it. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and turn on the connector. There we go. Definitely caught. And connected. All right, so our batteries should be charging and we're a lot more stable now. Let's go take a look at a few other things. So we did miss a couple of spots, but it's okay. Also, if we got all the connectors, then this should be empty. It's doing crazy things, but that's okay. We are getting way up here, aren't we? That's cool. Uh, I also want to copy the settings from one of those projectors to the other one. So from the tower projector to projector 4. So let's see, the blueprint would be the same, but this time I actually want to put these settings, this 13, 1, 1, negative 90, 0, 90. Oh, and the blueprint. Oh, am I going to be able to... I can't put in a blueprint unless I have power. Well, that sucks. Okay, so if I give it power temporarily and then remove it, the settings should stay. There we go. That should be enough to get the projector online, which means I can go in and actually configure it. Blueprint. Projector Tower 1. Except for... Oh, it's kind of this Catch-22, isn't it? No. No, it's not. Yes. Kind of? 13. 1. 1. Negative 90. 90. Now, in theory... Oops. Why is that not showing? Hmm. Oh, whoa, because it's way over there. What? <sighs> you know, I've run across this before, where blueprints act differently on different grids. So let's see if that works anyway. I don't remember what I called the other one, but this one's going to be Tower Projection 2. <laughs> this is this is where it gets a little weird because I actually have to change the blueprint and then take another projection. Or change. So I have to do this. And then I come back in here. I, this is kind of crazy. So solar panel 2, I guess. What? No, solar panel. Never mind. Tower projector. Change the blueprint to tower projection 2. And then we remove this again. And we take another blueprint. And that's the one we use. I think last time I called it projector tower, didn't I? 
projector tower too. Okay. Which kind of works, but anyway. And we'll use this projection instead of that one, and we'll see if it lines up. Did it just do it right? I don't know. Did I use the wrong projector? I don't know. Is that the right one? I don't know. Okay, let's see if this works. And double check the battery. I think I also should put on a second battery because that was a little tight. And then we also need to do the math on this and like how much of everything it needs. Everything needed for a connect. Okay, I'm going to write this down. Where's my notebook? Okay, so I mainly just rounded up. But uh, we're going to do this. Elevator. Elevator. Cargo. Tim, we need steel plates times, let's do 3,000. Computers times, let's do 25. I'm rounding up for everything, so motors times 300. Small steel tubes times 400. Construction components times 600. Large steel tubes. We just need two of those in theory, but let's just get five for the heck of it. And then interior plate times 500. Give or take. Okay. Do we get all those things? Do they all fit with room to spare? I might actually even do double, but nah, we're good. So we need to get up to the top, but shouldn't this I did this all upside down didn't I because I need the projector at the top but I wasn't really thinking about that no yes yeah I need the projector at the top ridiculous ridiculous me okay well let's see if we can uh, move back up again just a little bit further also I had this I had this genius suggestion by somebody at some point in time that I can't think of right now that I should just throw on a control station. And that was quite a smart idea. Because sometimes it's just easier to sit at a control station. Whoa! Okay. On off. Isn't that what I just said? I think I might want those welders a little taller too, because degree. Yeah, because that's where I wanted to stand. All right. So now what I'm thinking is right about here, because we're now at the you know the top. But what 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 was that all about? Okay, so what killed me? Was it standing on the wheel? Uh, yes. Oh, tch. bonehead. There's these things called welders. Good grief. Okay, let's turn off those welders. <laughs> I can't believe that I didn't think of that. I can't believe that. All right, so right there is where I'm going to want the next projector. The other thing I want is when it's finished with the section that it's on. Ah. Oh, awesome. That's definitely not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Conveyor junction, yeah. Charge and all that kind of thing. 
And it should refill this as well. Good. Okay. I don't know. So do I want do I want the projector there or do I want it one lower? And then also, no, you know what? I want the projector there. But I'm going to make one more layer above it and I'm going to move the welders all up by one. Okay, so here I am in uh, a creative world. We're going to just create this blueprint and be done with it. <laughs> it's just easier that way. All right. So we need to go, let's go, I don't know, like 100 blocks. Should we do 100 blocks? That sounds good to me. You know what else? It's going to be a lot easier to do through uh, spectator mode. So I want to do that. So we need 97 more. Oh, good grief. Uh, maybe we should do 50. <laughs> so we'll do 47 more. As we listen to my fidget spinners hit each other. By the way, if you haven't seen that live stream, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. All right, so before I put the last one in here, we're going to put in, let's see. I want one at the top, just kind of for stability. You guys okay over there? Okay. So we need a projector right here. Because this is going to project the next one up. And then we need a connector for the actual, for the elevator to get more components and whatnot. And right there is where our connector is. Like that. It should be good. I think we only really need an actual conveyor once per tower. Okay. And then the final block in place, and we should be golden. Well, no, sort of. Because then we need to deal with the actual projections. Okay, so now is when we have to actually do the whole catch-22, putting the projection of itself back into itself thing. So let's... I don't need to do this yet. I'm going to take a projection... Uh, actually, you know what? Before I take a projection, I'm going to simplify my life. And can I not access that? I have to be in my body to access that, don't I? Darn it. Let's me build. So we're going to jump over and we're going to actually name this Tower Part. I know, it's a different name than before, but I kind of want it to be. So... All right, so now let's go ahead and take a projection. We should end up with tower part. Good. <laughs> so now here comes the crazy catch-22 part because I need... Where's the sun? Okay, it's right there. I need to have power in order to set any settings. And I need to have a projection in order to figure the settings out then I need to save that back into the same blueprint. It's all very strange. Okay, so tower part. And we end up with not too shabby, actually. That's not too bad at all. So I just need to move it slightly to the, like, one to the right, one back, and a couple up. Beauty. Okay. And then, and then we remove this. <laughs> oh, that was that down there. That scared me. Okay. Why did I start this building right next to all my crazy fidget spinners that are still banging into each other? I don't know. Okay, so now we store this blueprint. Then we put this back on. Thank you. Go back in here change the blueprint 
tower part underscore one, which is still in the correct position. That's a good thing. And then we can take our final blueprint. And there we go. And we should have a tower part underscore two. And that's the one that we can actually safely use over and over and over again. Okay, so back to survival. I think that's up and that's forward. I think I think that that's the same direction that I just did. I guess we'll find out. Tower part number underscore two. And yeah, it's not in the right spot. I'm not entirely surprised, but at least it's the right rotation. That looks right to me. Okay. Well, I'm out of recording time. I, I gotta get this episode out. Like, you guys are watching this only a couple hours. Oh, well, I mean, the people that watch it as soon as it comes out, only a couple hours after I'm recording this last little bit. And so I don't have time to do anything else if I want to get this episode out on time. Come back next time, because next time we're going to actually do... I've got some other ideas for how we're going to do the welding as fast as possible, because that's kind of the key at this point now. If we're going to get to the heavens anytime in the next century, we need this thing to be able to weld really, really fast. And I've got a couple of ideas of how we can make it go a lot faster than it's currently going. But it's going to take a lot of welders. So, yeah, come back to see just how many welders I can get on this thing. If you enjoyed watching this episode, then good, because this one was kind of boring, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I mean, maybe you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I don't feel like this is one of my best episodes. So, but then again, you know, an artist is his own worst critic, and so am I. But if you did enjoy it, even if you just didn't hate it, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button, because most of my episodes are better than this one. I promise. And hit the bell so that you know the next time I have something come out. And as always, I'll see you next time on Epic Time.